I was moving some plants around and I just wanted to show you real quick the development of the soil since one year back. So this is what it looks like now. Full of organic matter, good color, nice and porous. Let me show you what it looked like before. So there was a lot of gravel from the gravel pit over there. So here you can see the tiny bit of organic matter on top because this is in the corner of the garden where I haven't really done anything. I've been working on these raised beds. But if I flip it around, you'll see what it looked like before. Right now it's still pretty soft because we're in the rainy season. But as soon as spring and summer hits, it's, this turns into stone. It's like concrete. But you see here, it's just clay, nothing else. And to go from this <coughs> to this in less than a year. There you go. Look at that. That's gorgeous. Here you can see a good cross section of the topsoil that has been decaying, you know, old plants from, uh, from last year when I first did uh, the legumes and stuff. And then you see the gradual transition to clay. Still a good mix down here. Still very loose, full of organic matter. Now, if you're wondering how that happens, is thanks to the insects. All these insects that people are afraid of and do their damnedest to kill, whether it's beetles or if it's ants and stuff like that, they keep, you know, they're drilling their way through and they're moving all of this material around. And the roots start to spread and everything just shifts around and moves around. And as the roots decay and decompose, they turn into this beautiful brown soil. It's fantastic. Nature, man. Here we got worms. It's a beautiful, healthy looking worm. When I was digging around here last year, I did not see one single worm. Nowhere to be seen. But look at that. Moist and happy. Moist. Moist. All you need to do is create a nice environment for them to be in. And uh, they come. As they say in the movie, if you build it. If you build it, he will come. And this is my pantry plot. So basically I just raided my pantry. And I took uh, beans and lentils and chickpeas and everything else that I could find. I soaked them for a little bit and I just threw them across uh, randomly here. And that's what's growing. <clears throat> it looks like this. Look at that height. It's really cool. And this is also where I hide the plants that I don't have time to... Uh, to put into the soil okay so the garden clips that you just saw were from march and may of last year and what i had done was i just took these very simple legumes mung beans and uh, lentils not pre-cooked ones just the proper ones uh, and they're really cheap there's the receipt less than three euro and uh, these go a long way. Once they, uh, once you put them in water, uh, they start to expand. And if you ever cooked lentils or beans, you know what the deal is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these, put them in water for a day, and then I'm going to mix them with some soil and a bit of water to make it all sticky and gooey. And then I'm just going to simply spread it in the garden, cover it with a bit of extra soil to make sure that no birds come and eat them. And then within a month, they should be all grown up and ready to be cut down and placed down onto the soil to decompose and give nutrients to the soil. So initially I wanted to have raised beds over here, but <laughs> I couldn't get a hold of wood because the shops were closed. So uh, slowly it went from raised bed to half raised bed with half bricks to just literally a mound of compost with cardboard underneath. And this is growing just as fine as everything else. So what I decided to do is to just cover everything, the whole thing in cardboard, not the raised beds, but like in between 
all the way around here, the perimeter. I'm going to cover it with cardboard, fill it up with compost. I'm going to make paths with wood chips from the wood that I cut a couple of weeks ago. And that way, it'll be like an, a, a complete garden. But before I start planting stuff, I want to put down the legume experiment, which is to say the lentils and the mung beans. I'm going to soak them in water and then I'm going to spread them out here. They're going to grow put some roots down, bind the compost into the soil beneath, and then it's gonna be ready to plant some delicious stuff. See how it goes. So this was basically all the cardboard that I used inside the house from uh, floor covering while I was uh, dusting and doing messy stuff to uh, all the furniture from Ikea that uh, of course comes packed with cardboard. Um, this is literally all of it except for the tiny pieces over there. And it looks like a mess, doesn't it? You just wait. Now that I've dumped most of it, I can finally pull it over. <laughs> and dump the rest of it out. Now I'm gonna rake it, flatten it out, water it, and let it sit for a while and analyze a little bit to see what goes where and how. So all in all here, I covered this entire place with 1,000 liters of compost. That's five meters by five meters. That's 25 square meters for those who are counting. Okay, so now it's time to make the legume mix. And what I have is lentils, lentejas, and mung beans. Um, uh, these are a lot, and it's for this 25 square meters. I think it's, it might be too much, or should we go all the way? I think we're gonna go half and half. So obviously you'll adjust this to your own needs. Maybe you have a huge field, as do I, down here, but it's not workable yet. Add water. Got the water pump, water pressure, finally. Okay, so the lentils and the mung beans have been soaking for some time and it's freezing cold, so let's get this done quickly. This is the bucket, they've expanded, they look nice and plump. And over here, I have some compost. Bring. I dump the water. Now I want to keep some of the water because I want it to be a wet mix. Oh gee, it's cold. Dump in the compost. There we go. Something like this. And like that. All right, you see that? So it's a nice sticky mess. That's what it looks like. Just gonna make sure I get everything up from the bottom. Because it's starting from the bottom, now it's here. Started from the bottom, now my whole team fucking. I just wanna show you real quick why it's so important to not have bare soil just laying, doing nothing, and why you want to anchor it with some kind of roots. You remember these, right? These were the compost bags that I bought and they were just standing here, so I decided to plant a bunch of stuff. I have uh, flowers and radishes and never mind what is growing, but check this out. Check this out, look here. See all these tiny roots? They're keeping the soil, they're keeping the compost nice and tight together. And this is what stops erosion. This is how you prevent it. By always having stuff growing in all your mediums. That's it. I'm just gonna rake it in, move it around a bit so I get some nice deep pockets so they can lodge themselves into the soil a little bit. Uh, and I'm gonna cover it with just a little bit more soil on top, just so they're a bit protected from the sun. And we should be good to go. All right, I think that's it for this episode. We come back next week, hopefully, you'll see some green in the garden. I'll see you then, thanks for watching, bye.